I tell you what, it has been um, it is a real concern for me coming out of this. I think there's a lot more racism coming out of this. I'm really worried about the division. I'm really worried about can about you know the recession that's going to come, but the way that the current political system uses propaganda to divide us, uh, I think is divisive for my time. I'm really worried about the. Uh, the growth in uh, fascism that I'm seeing in my time. I'm really worried about that. And I think we've got to meet it with love. I think we've got to meet it with love because it feels very much like there are kind of... We're attacking people's viewpoints and some of those viewpoints are are worthy of being attacked but the way that we're attacking them is causing us to move further apart and so I think the work and the longer game is how we can get people connected with what they've got in common. When we talk about housing we have to talk about a range of housing we have to talk about um accommodation to suit all the various needs because one size does not fit all. There was people who had pets, for example, dogs, and they were told they couldn't get accommodation because the dog couldn't go into the hotel room. Um, I completely understand that, but we need to be thinking about how can we remove all the barriers not just some of the barriers for some people, but all of the barriers so that we can accommodate people to meet their various needs, you know. Um, also, some of the people who have been accommodated, they lasted maybe two weeks and then some of them have ended up back on the streets. And um, when I started noticing that, I, 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 I started asking people why, what's happened? And I was quite surprised with the responses that I was given. Some people said that it's not social distancing, it's social isolation. They, and that's the worst thing for them if they're hearing voices or if they've got high anxiety, um, just being isolated, caught up in the run. Some people said it felt very interesting institutionalized it reminded them of being in hospital or being in prison they were suddenly in a room and they didn't have any choice about what they ate or even when they ate food was just brought to them um, and even though the intention and everything was nice it was meeting a physical need but not a holistic need it just really made me think about our service provision and about trying to do a one size fit all and how we need to First of all, see people as humans, see them as individual and try and meet those individual needs. Mm -hmm.